The Bank of Industry collaborates with local and international development finance institutions and commercial banks to provide funding for key capital projects in Nigeria. This is done through strategic partnerships with state governments. The groundwork for one of such partnerships is happening right here at the Abuja office of the Bank of Industry as the governor of Ebony State approaches the bank for support. The MD Bank of Industry, Olukai de Quinton, ushers in the governor. In welcoming Governor Dave Umahi, the MD begins by sharing part of his plans to secure more offshore funds to support local industries, a move Ebony State stands to benefit from. We are working very hard to ensure that we have a large pool of funds. Uh, part of my plans, working with the team here, yeah, is that we're going to try and raise a fund of between 500 billion to 1 trillion naira in the next two years to ensure that we support not only the micro and the small scale enterprises but also the large corporations. The governor calls for a review of the existing relationship between the Bank of Industry and Eboin State, asking for a more urgent and tailor-made intervention. I can, to God's glory, say that we pride ourselves as uh, a state that has the largest uh, deposit of uh, you know, solid mineral, but unfortunately very highly and criminally neglected, you know, right from bed until we were, you know, born again. Uh, our mission here, sir, is to ask, can we be evaluated in a comprehensive term, you know, and uh, see what and what that can be done Fairborn State. So much is being ignored and wasted. And we are willing and ready to partner with you, but not six months to get a business on its feet. Uh, unfortunately for me, I'm a very impatient person, you know, when it comes to development. The governor and the MD spoke to journalists after the meeting. One billion is our own hard-earned money, and we had set aside this one billion for the empowerment of our people. And we also have a, a, num a number of our people that are in Lagos, in major cities, doing hawking. And so we are using these funds to exit them from the major cities so that they come back to the state and be able to do something. Already about, um, you know, uh, 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 about 1,000 of them, you know, uh, you know have benefited. Uh, so we still have about 3,000. So instead of just giving them this 250,000 as grant, we may increase it to 500,000 so that 250,000 is a component of loan, you know, from the contribution of uh, Bank of Industry. And then the other 250 will be a kind of grant. But the good thing is that they are, you know, normally trained, you know, before they are deployed. So we're looking at empowerment. And when you talk about empowerment, you know, some we go into poultry, some we go into uh, rice production, cassava production, mince production, you know, some we go into small, small manufacturing, you know, and then like, um, you know, we have a lot of salt. So we are excising, you know, our brain to see but the byproduct of salt, uh, you know, extraction, quote unquote, like the soda, you know, you can use it to do soda water and of course use it for water treatment. So these are all that we want to you know, deploy the money to. And of course, it's not enough. But as we, you know, get started, you will be able to channel, you know, more for because we've done quite a lot of, uh, you know, infrastructure. So our attention is now geared towards, you know, now raising the people. First of all, we have to change the orientation of the average Nigerian that intervention funds are not their own part of national cake. Because the idea is that if it's, the state is bringing the money, this is what the state wants to give to me. The state wants to empower you. It's not to take money and not pay back. Because the more they are able to pay back, you know, the more the governor and the government will be encouraged to do more. You know? So the mentality of the average Nigerian that takes money for those kind of projects has to be changed. Then we need to also let our, even the type of training and the curriculum we have in universities, some has to be amended. We need to begin to teach entrepreneurial classes. You know, you don't have to work for a formal organization to be employed. You can work for yourselves. So we have to tackle it in a lot of areas. Of course, churches, mosques, and families must help. The moral teachings, 
you know, that we give to our people, you know, it's also very important.